very much. Thank you, everybody, for that raucous applause. Welcome to the 2013 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Awards. Big round of applause for yourselves for being here. It's a night that is very important. It's great to be back hosting the show again. The last time I hosted was seven years ago. And uh, Jimmy Johnson, by coincidence, was celebrating his first championship. And we were also celebrating the birth of Joey Logano. <laughs> I'm very excited to be back. We got a great show tonight celebrating another amazing season of NASCAR Sprint Cup racing. And I can assure you guys, I am ready to do this. I'm fired up, I'm prepared, and I will be following NASCAR's 100% rule. As instructed, just look at the incredible athletes in this room. You may not know this, but Donovan McNabb, former Eagles quarterback, was on Fox Sports, and he said that drivers aren't athletes. I got news for you, drivers are athletes. Apparently, Donovan McNabb has not seen how fast drivers run when they find out Mike Helton is looking for them. <laughs> you know why we're here, it's that man right there, Jimmy Johnson, yes, round of, you better applaud for Jimmy Johnson. Let's get it going. Jimmy, Chandra, look at Canals holding it down, I love it. Jimmy only needs two more wins, two more cup wins to reach the all-time greatest goal in NASCAR, to be half as popular as Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> it's great to see the legendary Jeff Gordon in the house. Jeff Gordon, my man, what's up, buddy? Love you, my man. Yes. Why was Jeff Gordon's applause longer than Jimmy Johnson's applause? That was a little weird, right? You cannot have a sprint cup chase without Jeff Gordon, apparently. Um, <laughs> when the chase first started, there were 10 drivers, then they expanded it to 12, now 13. There are more people in the chase than there are Kardashians. <laughs> nice going, Mr. Helton. We're on to something. Big shout out to Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart is not here tonight. However, we should give him a round of applause. He's the new cover boy for NASCAR 14, the game. Round of applause for Tony Stewart. Yes, yes. He's a champion. My man, smoke, smoke. That's what's great about NASCAR. NASCAR has the greatest nicknames in all of sports, all of them. Smoke was Tony Stewart. Dale Earnhardt Sr. was the intimidator. Richard Petty, the king. Michael Waltrip. Daryl Waltrip's brother. <laughs> the best nicknames in sports. Sadly, one driver will no longer be a part of the chase, and that, of course, is our good friend Mark Martin. Can we please give Mr. Mark Martin some applause? Yes! Love Mark Martin. Mark Martin retired Again, good God, man, make up your mind, Mark Martin. Are you in or out? This guy retires and unretires more than Brett Favre and Cher combined. <laughs> I personally don't think Mark Martin should ever stop driving, no matter what the state says. <laughs> We're gonna miss Mark Martin. Who else will drive a car with the bumper sticker that says, ask me about my grandchildren? <laughs> Jeff? You guys may not know this, after Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon is the longest tenure driver on the circuit. That deserves a round of applause. My man's been getting after it. <laughs> Matt Kenseth is here. My man, Matt Kenseth. Welcome aboard, brother. What a great, yes, please. Second place, that deserves a huge round of applause. <laughs> he just looked over and said, I'm ready, I'm ready, bring it on. Uh, Mark Martin, second place, seven wins, most on the circuit. You were so close. Personally, I think you would have won the whole thing if you didn't spend so much time in the pits. Mark. That's, you spent a lot of time in the pits. I don't, I don't know how long that pit stop was in Phoenix exactly, but I'm pretty sure it takes less time to sign up for Obamacare. <laughs> Big liberal crowd here tonight, a lot of Democrats. <laughs> That was the one the writers were betting on, the big, big huge applause break. Danica Patrick, yes, round of applause for a history maker. Danica Patrick is here. Welcome, my love. Yes. 
Danica, I hope you're not too uncomfortable tonight. I know you're not used to being this close to the front. Um, <laughs> it's a comedy show. Jeez Louise. I'm Danica, of course, became the first woman to win the poll at Daytona. In one move, Danica Patrick silenced all of the haters, and we at NASCAR and the fans respect that. Round of applause for Danica Patrick, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very lucky to have you here. Somebody uh, man, put a smile on that face. Danica is here with her boyfriend, NASCAR Sunoco, Rookie of the Year, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. You don't, you don't really have to applaud for him. Danica, uh, <laughs> Danica's the star, we know that. Danica wrecked Ricky this year at New Hampshire. That's a wacky relationship when you wreck your boyfriend in a race. In New Hampshire, she wrecked Ricky. Ricky, let me uh, give you a little advice, just guy to guy. Next time your girlfriend asks you, does this fire suit make me look fat? Just say no, brother. I admire Danica and Ricky very much. Go on. I want to uh, take a time out and give a very special thanks to the director of the show for getting cutaway shots of people not laughing. I'm looking at 2,000 people laughing their eyes at it. We just have Danica going, no, that wasn't funny at all. I admire Danica and Ricky for making the relationship work. Ricky knows uh, what we all know. Sometimes the guy just has to step aside and let the woman lead. Just ask Kevin Harvick. <laughs> Kevin had four big wins this season. Congratulations, brother. Where are you, Kevin? Kevin's right here. Yes, Kevin, four wins. <laughs> Kevin uh, is moving to Stuart Haas Racing in 2014, and he's getting right to work. He's already asking Gene Haas if he has a grandson he can fight. All kidding aside, I think we do need to take a moment and recognize how great Kevin and Richard Childress Racing have been and all that they've accomplished together over the past 13 season. Please, big round of applause. That was impressive, brother. Very well done, sir. They now have, St Stuart Haas now has Smoke, Sparkle Pony, and the Outlaw driving for them. And in case you're wondering, that's also the name of Lady Gaga's dancers, so. <laughs> Love is in the air, my friends, and it's not just Danica and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Joey Logano and Clint Boyer just got engaged. <laughs> not to each other, that came out weird, I rushed it. <laughs> to female women ladies. Speaking of Clint Boyer, oh, Clint! Clint, Clint, Clint. How's that poison oak treating you, brother? <laughs> I guess I'm not the only bad actor here. Seriously though, Clint, congratulations on your engagement. You're going to be great at marriage since you're already really good at apologizing for things you may or may not have done. <laughs> All right, we're cooking. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I have breaking news right here in my ISB, my earpiece. This is. Okay, all right, Jeff Gordon, this just in. Jeff Gordon has been added to the BCS championship game. Jeff Gordon has, Je Jeff, congratulations, good luck. I guess it'd be you versus Florida State. Jeff Gordon just got added to the BCS championship game. Brad Keselowski is here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Brad Keselowski. Yes. He's over here, I believe. Brad Keselowski had a, uh, just a great, great season. I'm, wait a minute, I'm sorry. That one was left, left over from last year's show. <laughs> Brad, everyone in this room knows, without a doubt, that you are going to be back up here before you know it. Much love to Brad Keselowski, an incredible racer. Let's give it up for Brad. Joey Logano, he's here tonight, my good friend. He was on my radio show today, did a great job. Joey Logano made it to his first chase this season, and that is quite an accomplishment for a 23-year-old. 19 top 10 finishes, a win at Michigan, all at 23 years old. Come on, man. When I was your age, I was in New Jersey wearing gold chains, spray tanning, and trying to look like John Bon Jovi. 
I mean, you got to look. Well, oh, oh, hold on. I'm sorry. We have another update from the control room. Oh, all right. Jeff Gordon, this just in, has been added to the best picture category in this year's Oscars. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, well, Jeff, you're on fire. Jeff Gordon nominated for best picture at the Oscars. Kyle Bush is here. My man, what's up, Kyle? You doing good? Good to see you, Kyle Bush. One of my all time favorite racers. I don't care who comes in after you, I've always dug you, I always loved you. Kyle Bush had a great season with four wins, and uh, you may not have won the chase. But with those M&Ms, you have the most delicious paint job in all of NASCAR, my brother. <laughs> Little known fact, Kyle never has to wash his car with the M&Ms on it. He just parks it in front of a curved gym and then lets the people come out and lick it clean. <laughs> guys all members of Curves? What happened? <laughs> I, 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 oh, oh my gosh, hold on a second. I'm trying to do a monologue. They're killing me in the car. This just in, a 13th month has been added to the calendar. A, a 13th month has been added to the calendar. It's been called Jeff Gordonary. It's right after December. <laughs> Jeff Gordonary. If this keeps up, Jeff Gordon is going to be president of the United States in like another two jokes. <laughs> then you'd be up here winning because you wouldn't have Obamacare. You'd have Gordon Care. Let's get to the man of the hour, your six-time Sprint Cup Series champion, Jimmy Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up! Jimmy Johnson is here. Look at you sitting there. You look great. Look at the whole table, the whole crew. This looks like the richest table at medieval times ever. <laughs> it's kind of ironic tonight, a room filled with men looking right into your eyes that spent all season staring at the back of your head. Not particularly funny, but a salient point. I'm now following NASCAR's 82% rule, I suppose. Jimmy won his sixth championship this season. Six, six championships for Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy, I think I speak for every driver in the room when I say, take a year off. <laughs> or do what Jeff Gordon did, win four and then quit. How many jokes did you write today? <laughs> I need to take a moment to point out how incredible Jimmy Johnson is. I just made, and I'm being serious, I just made a joke about Jeff Gordon winning four championships. That's how amazing Jimmy Johnson's accomplishments are. Just astounding, Jimmy. I gotta tell you, yes. Astounding. And it's good to finally see a guy like you succeed, you know? Usually only good-looking people make it to the top of their field. <laughs> Could you be any more handsome? My God, Jimmy Johnson. If I looked like you, I would never leave the house. I would just stare at myself in the mirror all day. <laughs> and I know you don't do that. You obviously pay people to do that for you. Jimmy, um, <laughs> Jimmy, you are just one of those guys that always makes the right decision. Well, not always. If we can get a photo of this, yeah, that wasn't a good decision at all. <laughs> wow! How do I get one of those hats? I, oh, here we go. Yes, I need one of these hats, Jimmy Johnson. That's a photo of you wearing uh, this amazing hat. I had no idea that you win the chase, you also get to be Pope. <laughs> Don't think, Jimmy, that everyone on my Christmas list isn't getting one of these. This thing is amazing. <laughs> I got a two-year-old son. I can turn this thing upside down and use it as a crib, a potty, and when he's enough, old enough to go to college, this will be his first apartment. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson, that's how you know you are incredibly successful, when you can wear a hat like this and no one has the stones to make fun of you. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw a guy coming out of a pawn shop wearing flip-flops, jean shorts, a cut-off Def Leppard shirt with a tramp stamp of a panther drinking box wine from a saxophone. He took one look at this hat and said, that's tacky. 